I remember showing up on my first ever winter camping trip with nothing but a cotton t-shirt and a sleeping bag rated to plus 15 degrees Celsius. The boys jokingly titled me Big Mountain Al, and that name would later inspire Big Mountain Media. A lot has changed since those early days. Our budgets, knowledge, production value, and level of riding has grown significantly. But at the heart of it all, we're all just a bunch of Big Mountain Owls in our own ways. Not to say we're irresponsible or unsafe, but rather, we offer a different flavor to the deeply rooted touring culture here in the Sea to Sky. Picture a group of 30-year-old boys hauling their 80-pound packs into the mountains in the early hours of the morning. We typically like to give ourselves an extra two hours to reach the daily shred zone to accommodate for any binding malfunctions, wrestling matches, or hysterical breakdowns along the way. Sometimes we have objectives, and sometimes we don't, and that's okay. The skin track banter, it varies, but commonly leans towards a few high priority topics. Who's chucking the biggest swan? Is Will gonna miraculously ride away from his 40 foot back slap? Or my personal favorite, who's texting whose mom? This winter was just like all the others. It was fucking awesome. And this story, it isn't mine, it's ours. Together, we're a group of friends who like to push our limits just for fun and do things a little bit differently. We aren't built for speed, but we like to move fast with the slowness necessary to appreciate the moments along the way. Our effort, it's not measured in elevation or objective, but our ability to connect with the places and people we cross.
they say there's something special about earning your turns. And we couldn't agree more. It's 10 p.m. What are you doing awake? Have you looked at the forecast yet? Yeah, I checked it out. It looks pretty socked in. Nah, dude. It looks like it's going to clear. Really? Around 6 a.m. You got to be on the bridge when the light comes over. Could be the best day of your life. Fuck. Okay. 4 a.m. in the lot. Made it up. <laughs> Made it up to the camp. Home for the night. Gonna bust the tent out. Get comfy. (laughs) 
So I forgot the tent. <laughs> I forgot the tent. But I made a, uh, we all made a little shelter. Used the, the tarp. And we've got, you know, ooh, we've got it going on in there. That's nicer than a tent. We're gonna cuddle up tonight. I think we all have a love-hate relationship with Willie. His dedication to snowboarding acts as a driving force through the long winter months. His calling to the mountains has fostered a community, and his ambitions have oftentimes turned into memories that I'll remember forever. Many of us have been riding alongside Willie for years, and I'll always be grateful for the friends I've made along the way. Not worried once by the paint of the sky Gonna live it up until I die And when I'm gonna set your soul on Day in the Mounds is never an easy feat. Rivers and streams, powder and ice, and thick BC bush make for difficult travel. And early mornings and long days can make you question your life decisions. What's the time and temperature, buddy? Minus 16. It's like 3.30. <laughs> it's not that bad, though. The struggles we endure are the moments we laugh about tomorrow. The process is where we learn and grow. In the final descent, it represents our epitome of freedom, moments where we feel the most alive. All right, love you boys. You know how we fucking do, baby? Oh, ah! <laughs> Holy fuck, buddy.
Rubber Ducky from Money Man Rubber Ducky. You come in, Rubber Ducky. Jesus Christ, why did we even give that guy a radio? Hey, hey, hey.